This is a how-to video on completing a lesson in Edgenuity. So, first you're going to want to open up your vPortal. Once you've opened up vPortal, you want to locate the Edgenuity student icon. You will click on the Edgenuity student icon and it will open you up to your Edgenuity page. You might have some announcements here, which will have webinars and things like that there. Once you if you want to send an email, you will click here, send an email, and you will click a new message. Find your teacher's name and send the email. For our class, you're going to want to click on the High School Algebra 1 Honors Quarter 4. Once you have opened up our course, you're going to want to find the lesson that you were first uh, doing. The first lesson that we are going to be doing is Lesson 10.1, Linear Piecewise uh, Defined Functions. So, first you're going to want to click the plus sign. This will open up the objective, standards, and transcript of the notes. You want to open up the view guided notes. You are going to want to use these guided notes on the warm-up, the instruction, and the summary. So, there's a couple ways you can use these guided notes. You can open up the guided notes and then print. Or you can open up the guided notes and then on a sheet of paper, write down the information from the guided notes. For example, you're on a right warm up, then write the title linear piecewise function. Write lesson question, then leave some space to fill in the question. Draw this graphic organizer and then write down the other information from the warm up. And as you can see, this goes on for instructions and for summary. So that is two ways you can do that. The third way that you can do this is have the uh, uh, lesson open, the guided notes open in a separate screen with our lesson open in the other side of your screen. Once you open up the warm up, you can look at the guided notes and use the guided notes to help you when taking e notes. E notes oh, can be done up I'm top. I'm just working in the lab here. And While we're working in the lab, in we're always dealing with questions. chemicals that have different phases. Let me pause For example, the water. We all know the three. So you can go into e notes, you can type in lesson question. And then fill in the question that is being asked on this topic. And then maybe even fill in like lesson goal and or goals and fill in the information there. I suggest doing it on paper myself or printing. However, the e notes are there for you. And then you can just hit save and it saves those e notes for you while you're completing the activity. You can always pause the lesson while typing or writing for completing that lesson. So I would do this when you are completing the warm up, when you are completing the next activity, which is the Completing the instructions when you are completing the summary. Then I would use these notes when you are completing the assignments and the quizzes. So let's go back to our home screen. So again, you're going to want to use these notes for our warm up, instruction, summary. Then you're going to want to look at your notes when you are completing the assignments and quiz. If you have any questions at any point in time, you're going to want to send me an email by clicking the email messaging button here. Click a new message, then find my name, Sierra Holcomb, and then say like question on lesson 10.1. 
then type in the question that you have. I can respond to this question, or if you are struggling in any way, shape, or form, I can send you uh, additional links, additional resources, and I will be sending you things in this email um, of up-to-date items. So if you have any questions, please email me.